I'm at the beach. I'm at the beach. Very good. Describe this beach for me. Mm. What does it look like? Oh, it's beautiful sand. Mm -hmm. What color is the sand? White sand. Mm -hmm. Shiny. Green ocean. The water is green. Mm -hmm. And as you look at this beach, do you feel you have a physical body there? I think I do. Mm. So look down and see if you're stepping on that sand. I can feel it, but mm -hmm. I don't see it. Okay. So I'd like for you to just feel yourself on that sand. And let's look around and see what else is there. What else do you see there? What just trees. Mm -hmm. What calls your attention? It's just a bright sun touching mm -hmm. the green water mm -hmm. and the bright of the sands. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Is there anything in the water or on the sand? It's just so green, the water, and so white, mm -hmm. the sand. Mm -hmm. It's like the brightness of it. With the sun is beautiful too. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can walk through that beach. Perhaps even get into the water. And tell me what happens. This feels fun. Mm -hmm. What part of the body do you feel in the water? Now my whole body. Mm -hmm. So just it's like I'm playing with the water. Mm -hmm. So take a look and see. If you have a body, what does it look like as you play with it? Look I don't see a body, but I feel like I'm playing with it. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's see what else you can do in that water. How else do you play in the water? I love the water. Mm -hmm. Where do you go when you play in the water? It's so much fun. It's, mm -hmm. it's the fun spirit of it. Mm -hmm. It's like a fun energy. Mm -hmm. I feel alive. I feel great. Mm -hmm. Now this energy that is playing with the water, does it feel like it's a female energy or male energy? I think it's a female. Mm -hmm. Does this energy feel young oh, yeah. or old? Young. Mm -hmm. Happy. Happy. Excited. What else can you do in that water? Where can you go? Hmm. Now you can see the ocean, mm -hmm. the whole ocean. Mm -hmm. As you see the ocean, do you feel like you're by yourself there? Or yes. Are there are others with you. I feel by myself. Mm -hmm. Connect with your emotions. What does it feel like to be there? <sighs> Peaceful. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to Serene. take. Take that peaceful feeling and just make it your own. Feel the peace of the ocean as it comes to welcome you. And I'd like for you to connect your consciousness with the ocean. And let's see if the ocean has anything to say to you. Do you feel coming from the ocean? A lot of happiness. Mm -hmm. Like just flying around, flying, but not flying because mm -hmm. I don't see myself flying, but I feel like I'm just turning around happy and smiling. Mm -hmm. Are you inside the ocean or outside? I think I'm outside. I'm s I think I'm seeing it from the outside because mm -hmm. I don't feel wet. Do you feel like you have a body flying, or is it just energy? I imagine like a body, but I don't have a body. Mm -hmm. But imagine like a person's soul, open arm, mm -hmm. just yeah. running around. Let's see what else you see. Tell me everything. Where do you go to next? I don't... 
just I'm just there. Mm-hmm. Very good. Yeah, I don't see anything else. So let's see where it is that this soul resides. I'm going to count from three back to one. When I get to number one, we're going to go to the origin of where it is that you spend most of your time. When I get to number one, I'll tap your forehead and you'll be in this place. Taking a deep breath in now. Three. Going through time and space to see where it is that you reside. Two. Almost there now. And one. Be there now. What do you imagine? It's like I'm in space. I'm in space. Very good. Describe this space for me. What does it look like? Just see like a, the stars. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. I love the stars. I always have. Do you see any colors or any movement? They're super bright. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And as you're in the stars and in space, do you feel that you have a body there? No. No. Can you move freely through space? I think I can float. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do you feel like you're floating now? Mm -hmm. Mm Mm-hmm. So all you have to do when you're in space is use your intention as your direction. And we're going to go to the place where you're from. I'd like for you to use your mind to point you in the direction of where you're from and allow yourself to be there. What do you experience? I'm just like in the same place. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be there? It's quiet. Mm -hmm. The stars are beautiful. Just enjoy the scene, enjoy the feeling. And I'd like to know if you can communicate with any of those stars. What do you like see? they give me cheer, cheer, happiness. They make you happy, good. But I don't see any communication. Mm-hmm. Oh, communication is done from <coughs> mind to mind. Very good. Anything else that happens in space? Mm. Kind of like get to see the planet. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you see. It's just the planet. What is Earth. Mm-hmm. Tell me what you see when you see With the planet. With the blue, some clouds, mm-hmm. and the green of the land. Mm-hmm. And because. as you focus on the planet, I want you to connect with your feelings. Tell me what you feel when you see this earth. It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. What do you feel from the planet? Vulnerable. Mm-hmm. The planet is vulnerable. Mm-hmm. Are you? What do you feel? Oh, I, feel I feel like if I'm dizzy, turn it around. Mm-hmm. What's happening? I'm like in a s- spinning. Mm-hmm. Spinning, feeling bad spin. What happens now? Mm-hmm. What's causing the spin? Mm-hmm. No idea. It's like mm-hmm. a magnetic feel, I mm-hmm. guess. Are it's you like be- I'm feeling the spinning of other air. Mm-hmm. That's what I think. All right. But uh, my body's so spinning, I don't see any visualization. Mm-hmm. The spinning is not going to affect you at all. Just go with the spinning and see what where it takes you. What happens? Still spinning. Mm-hmm. I wonder where I'm going. Well, you can advance it a little bit more, just like when you do, when you're doing a technology and you can advance it forward. Come on, I want to fly. Come on, come on, hurry up. Mm-hmm. Come on. Where are we going? Just 
I mean, what it's happens? not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just my feel, just my body spinning. Mm -hmm. It's not going to affect you at all. Just allow it to spin to take yeah. you where you need to go. So I'm going to help you now. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to number three, I'll tap your forehead and you'll be where you need to be. One, two, and three. Be there now. Where are you? I think I'm in a forest. I'm in a forest. Very good. Describe it for me. I just see it like long trees, very tall, mm -hmm. very tall trees. My body's still spinning, mm -hmm. but I'm there. Mm -hmm. What else do you see? I feel like just walking. Mm -hmm. As you're walking through this forest, are you down below? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel anything beneath you? Do you feel the feel of the forest floor? I feel it, but I, 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 I feel I'm walking in mm -hmm. it. But I don't know. I don't think I feel it. Okay. But I know I'm walking. Do you have a physical body? Take a look down. Is there anything walking? No. All right. So if you're spirit, you're able to observe and experience this forest. I just see the trees. Mm -hmm. Long, tall, skinny trees. How does it make you feel? Very peaceful. Mm -hmm. In this forest, are you by yourself or are there others with you? Take a look around. It's quiet. I think mm -hmm. it's by, I'm by myself. Mm -hmm. And you say it feels good? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Very quiet. Anything else happen there? No. No? All right. Yes. So we're now going to move forward to the next important scene. I'd like for you to close the scene now. And let's move forward to the next important scene of that life there now. Where are you now? I don't see anything. Mm -hmm. So connect with your senses now. What does it feel like? Uh, it's, it's just nowhere. Nowhere. Nowhere is a good place to be. Yeah. I feel like, I don't know. So allow yourself to be in this place of nowhere. And as you acclimate yourself there, just use all of your senses. I'm trying to ask where am I, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Well, when you try, you don't get an answer. You're just going to know where you are. What does it feel like? I feel like in space. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. But I don't see stars or anything. I just feel it's dark. I don't mm -hmm. see any colors. I don't see any pictures. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close down that scene. And we're going to go to a scene in which this entity, known as Cindy, has been there before. We're going to go to that garden that she saw in her dreams. I'm going to count from one to three. And when I get to number three, we will be back at that dream. So take a deep breath in one. Traveling through time and space to connect with that moment in that dream. Two beginning to see herself with that being. And three, be there now. Where are you? I was, I'm inside of a place. Mm -hmm. It's like a 
like a laying down and the person came in. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have any face. That's okay. Just all dressed in white. Mm -hmm. With the hood and white. Mm -hmm. And where are you laying down? Take a look at that body. Where is this place? Um, it's like inside. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to see that scene so. as an observer, and you'll be able to mm -hmm. know where it is. It's in second like space. In space. Mm -hmm. It's like a cap, you know, like the, the extraterrestrial type of thing. Mm -hmm. And this place where you are, is it dark or is it light? No, it's really light. It's like at the same time when I have that dream. Mm -hmm. And as you're lying down, take a look at what you look like there. What do you look like? It's like if I'm at 12 years old. 12 years old. Mm -hmm. It's like a young little girl. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you to acclimate yourself completely into that body. Allow yourself to feel your soul entering that 12-year-old girl. And you'll be able to see out of her eyes and know everything that's happening. And remember. To look around you now and describe what this place is. I see a path. I see like a, a hallway. Mm -hmm. And the this it's like a rounded circle mm -hmm. space, mm -hmm. but wide in the side. Are these the walls? The walls are like a rounded. Mm -hmm. And I see equipment. What kind of equipment do you see? Mm. You can go slowly and take a good look at it. My computer and stuff like that against mm -hmm. the wall. Okay. Is there anybody working with those computers? I think I saw a person. Mm -hmm. But it was like a flash. I don't see anybody mm -hmm. there. Tell me more. What happens next? Just looking around. Mm -hmm. Tell me everything. But I don't see. It's so confusing because I don't know if this is what I really see. Mm -hmm. I don't want your ego involved. Oh, that ego is killing me. <laughs> just to tell me what you see. Yeah, it's like a capsule. Like a capsule. Like a, yeah, it's like a inside is rounded. Mm -hmm. It's a bright light inside. Computers around. Mm -hmm. And now I want you to just know what it is that you're doing in there. What is the purpose? You want to show me something All right. know what it is. Okay. Well, as this unfolds, you'll understand what it is that they want to show you. So the first thing is where it is that you're going. Where are you heading to in this capsule? It's like if I'm staying there. Mm -hmm. Are you visiting? And I just, sh I can't just see in all the technology mm -hmm. in the wall, mm -hmm. computer, wired. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. Take a look and see if there's anybody around. I see like a person with long white thin coming, mm -hmm. but I don't know if it's a really me making it up because well, I, I want to see somebody. I want you to keep that out of your mind. I want you to just tell me what's happening. Describe this being that's coming towards you. It's a long white gown. Okay. But I don't see the face. I just cover in white. Okay, that's fine. And this long white gown, does it have any type of decoration on it? No, it's totally. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does this being seem to be male or female? Does it have I a gender? I think it's a female. Very good. Or male. No, it's a male. All right. So you're going to connect now mind to mind and speak telepathically. 
because they don't use their voice. So I'd like for you now to connect with this being and lend this being your voice so that we can find out what it is that you're learning there. So I'd like to ask, what is the re reason why Cindy is there? Learn comes to my mind. Learn, very good. Has she been here before? Yes. Yes. How often does she come to your capsule? Always come to my mind. Mm -hmm. Very good. When does she go there? A long time. Mm. For what purpose? Curiosity. Curiosity, very That's good. That's what it comes to my mind. Mm -hmm. Very good. Does she have an agreement with you? Say yes. Mm -hmm. Very good. So what kind of agreement does she have with these, the space being? I don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. Do they know each other? No. No. Okay. Is she any, anything important in their life? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is she to them? Princess? A princess, okay. That's weird. Mm -hmm. So would you allow us to go back to the time when she was this princess to understand a little bit more? Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to count from five back to one. And when I get to number one, we will be at that life of that princess to understand why she comes to this capsule. Take a deep breath in now. Five. Begin to travel through time and space to that lifetime of a princess. Four. Being guided, easily traveling. Three. Allow the vision to come now. The memories. Two. And one. Be there now. I'm in, in kind of like a different planet. Mm -hmm. Scent or really brown. Mm -hmm. Describe this planet for me. I, s I only see like dry, very dry atmosphere. Mm -hmm. There's other ship mm -hmm. around it, like circles. Very dusty with a lot of dust. And but what? I don't see myself anywhere. Mm -hmm. So see that the terrain, is it mountainous? Is it flat? What does this planet look like? It's flat. Flat planet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I see people with long dresses. People with long dresses. Do they have color? Brown. Brown. A uh, lady with black hair. Mm -hmm. But the face doesn't look human. Mm -hmm. What does the face look like? Mm. Like small little nose. Mm -hmm. Is that real? Oh no. Big cheeks. Big cheeks. And like small little forehead. Mm hmm Like very narrow mm -hmm. in the by the forehead. What do the eyes look like? Hmm. I don't see eyes. Okay. I don't know if I'm making this up. I don't know. Do you see any type of buildings on this planet? Or is it just? Just ships. Just uh, ships. Yeah, I guess that's where they leave. Okay. I think. Mm -hmm. So I'd like for you now to close the scene and go to the place where you live on this planet. Be there now. It's a beautiful palace. Mm -hmm. Describe it for me. I feel very airy, like very open. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Um, 
has gold ages of the big um, that hold the buildings. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you say. Are they towers? Arch like arches or towers? Yeah, like like towers and arches. It mm -hmm. has it has gold around it, and it has like a lot of flowing curtains. Mm -hmm. What color Interior. are these? Curtains? White. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in the, it's like in a desert, but a beautiful mm -hmm. place. But what, right, I don't know if I'm making this up, it's, but wide open. Mm -hmm. It's like if my house is there, it doesn't have any doors, mm -hmm. but has this cover of this beautiful. Is there any roof on this? Yes. Mm -hmm. So take a look around this palace and see if there's anything interesting about it. Besides the arches and the towers. I feel like kids, family, if it was... Mm -hmm. You see people there? Yes and no, because I felt it at the beginning, but now I don't see people. Mm -hmm. So now you'll understand what it is that you do there. So I'd like for I'm you just to more it. relaxed. Mm -hmm. like I'm, I just live there. Yes. Do you have any responsibility? I guess maybe taking care of kids, mm -hmm. of the, my kids, I mm -hmm. guess, or whoever kids. I know there were some kids there before. Yes. Do I you have think... anybody who lives there with you besides the kids? I don't know. I don't see anybody. Okay. It's weird. Now, if you're living in a temple, and we've been told that you are a princess, I'm going to tap your forehead, and I'm going to see you doing what it is that you do there as a princess. See it now. See yourself doing your duty as a princess. Oh my god, I'm kind of like giving a speech to people. Mm -hmm. I feel their heart. Mm -hmm. I want them to understand that I love them too. Who are these people you're giving a speech It's to? like if that live the, the community mm -hmm. of the town or mm -hmm. whatever I live. But just because I'm rich doesn't I mean I don't I don't have feeling like they have. Because I know they're they're poor. What are you telling them? It's like I'm telling them that I'm here to help you and I have the same feeling that you have to like don't see me just because you're rich as a stranger mm -hmm. because I, I I feel I feel you as a human as a person that you are mm -hmm. and kind of like it's important to be together to to stay together it's important to love each other it's important to make a big impact in the community. Us. I'm just, just not, I don't know if I'm making this up, but that's what I feel. Mm -hmm. Like gathering people together. Very good. Calling them up for it. Mm -hmm. And do you communicate with words or do you communicate telepathically? Um, I, I, I think it's telepathically mm -hmm. because I don't see any, I don't hear any, I don't. So if you're giving this speech telepathically, how are they being? They just silence. They're silent. To it. Are just you receiving anything from you? Are, um, you? are they receiving anything? Do you feel? I think they're grateful for what okay. I'm okay. telling them. Very good. They need that support from you. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So now we're going to close that scene and we're going to now go to another important day in that same lifetime. <laughs> So close that scene and be at the next important scene of that same lifetime. Be there now. Well, it, it, we're running. Mm -hmm. We're running around. It's like if it's an invasion maybe mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see what's happened. It's a chaos. Everybody's running. I don't see them, what they're running for, but I feel like it's somebody 
They just came to invade the place. Mm -hmm. Take a look and see how they're invading. Are they invading by land or by by air? I, I see, uh, probably by air. Because I see like other ship, um, like flying and then kind of like going against the land, exploding. Mm -hmm. It's a chaos. So Everybody's I'd running. like for you to advance that scene and see what happens. Where do you go? I'm in a ship. Mm -hmm. I'm not there anymore. It's like I was able to escape, I guess. Mm -hmm. So look around you. Who's with you on that ship? Like, I want to see myself with people, but I don't see people. You don't have to see them. You just have to know that they're there. I, I feel like there are people there, but mm -hmm. I don't see anybody. But I don't know who it is. Now, on that ship, do you feel that you are being taken somewhere personally? Yeah, I, I, I feel like safe. Mm -hmm. it, I was safe by them. So let's find out where it is that they take you. Allow yourself now to advance forward and see where you're taken. I end up by the beach now. Mm -hmm. Very good. So, do you are you dropped off at the beach? I just, I, I just, I just have like a vision of the beach. Mm -hmm. Is this the same beach? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Is this your beach now? I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm so confused. I don't know if I'm just inventing this or really. I don't want to speak it. with your ego. Okay. Yeah, I'm at the beach. Mm hmm. I'm relaxed. Mm -hmm. I see kids, two kids, a boy and a girl. What do they look like? Oh, they're so cute. The girl has little golden hair color, mm -hmm. very cute. And they dress like brown little pants, running. Mm -hmm. They're very happy. And the top is like cotton. Mm -hmm. What do their faces look like? Oh, very cheerful, cute. Mm -hmm. Cute kids, they, like human. They're human kids. Mm -hmm. Very good. Do they see you? The girl just saw me and smiled at me. Mm -hmm. Now look at your own self and see if you have a body there. Yes, mm -hmm. I see like a f very long cotton dress, very linen type mm -hmm. of thing. Tell me more. Uh, long hair. What color? Brown. Mm -hmm. Like a dark, lighter brown. Yes. I'm very happy. Intenseful. Mm -hmm. And just, the, the little girl put a smile on my face. She's so cute. Mm -hmm. What relationship are you to these little children? Uh, I think they are my kids. Mm -hmm. Like that was the first feeling I got. Oh, look at them running! I'm seeing them happy. Mm -hmm. Now the eyes are always the window to the soul. Take a look at these children and see if you recognize those eyes in anyone that is in the lifetime of Cindy. I don't know why I feel like that was me mm -hmm. when I was little. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Since I saw her, it's like, oh, that's me. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I thought they were mine. Yes. I don't know. Very good. Very good. So what else happens? Anything else on this beach? I'm just kind of like relaxing. Mm -hmm. Contemplating everything. And being thankful. I'm so thankful for, for being in that peace. Mm -hmm. Very good. But I don't, I don't see myself with anybody else. Mm -hmm. I just saw the kids so and so. But I don't see a husband. I don't see anything else. And just, just very good. But that little face gave me a beautiful smile. So now we're going to close that scene, and we're going to go to the next important scene of that lifetime.
move forward now through time and space. Be there now. Where are you? I don't know. Um, everything's dark. Mm -hmm. I don't see any. I feel like I'm. I don't know where I am. So I'd like for you now to find your way back into that capsule. Find your way back. See yourself there once again. And now you will understand who that being was and the reason why you're on that capsule. I just felt something that says part of me. Mm -hmm. Why is it that Cindy needs to see that lifetime on that capsule? What is this part of her that she needs to address? Is it sadness? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What is the sadness all about? And glory. Mm -hmm. And glory. Tell her more about that. Life is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So if life is so beautiful, and she's already lived her life as this princess. We want to discover why it is that she decided to live the life on Earth. So I'd like for you now to take Cindy back to the time when she began to plan this life on Earth. She may have been meeting with guides or perhaps a spiritual council. I'm going to count from five back to one. And you're going to travel through time and space to show Cindy the planning of her life. Taking a deep breath in now, five. Going through time and space. Four. Three, two, and one. Be there now. Trust your first impression. It's like if I'm sitting in a table with more people around mm -hmm. me. They have like books in their hands, mm -hmm. material. I don't know, that's the first thing that kind of like came to my mind. How many do you see at this table oh, with you? Some, How large? I would say about, yeah, about 10 people, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. One is dressed in white, but the other one are, two are dressed in white, and the other one were dressed in different colors. Mm -hmm. Are they male and, or female energies? <clears throat> female, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh no, male, male. Because one of the guy has... Yeah, so a guy has like a beer, mm -hmm. I think. And as you're sitting at this table, I want you to connect with your feelings. What are you feeling from these people? It's like they have to come up with a conclusion of something. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's about me or where I'm going or... But they, they kind of like, or maybe thinking where am I going. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling about this meeting? Um, um like when when they're gonna be done? Mm -hmm. I wonder where am I gonna go? Are you excited about going or are you hesitant? What is the feeling that you're getting? Uh, oh no, because I, I kind of like don't picture anything. Where am I mm -hmm. going? I'm just going it's like with more the flow. wonder where I'm. Okay. Going. And one of the guys has like a crown in their head. A crown, very good. So you're going to be able to connect with them telepathically. You'll understand what they're saying and what are the reasons that they're sending you to the next life. So connect now and you'll understand what the discussion is all about. I 
I just heard the word inside of me, interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you've been chosen. Mm -hmm. For what? For a journey. About what? About life? It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. What kind of life? You just laugh. You'll see. What is the purpose for this life besides being interesting? Glorious? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. What else? Lecture? Mm -hmm. Oh, my ego is killing me. Because mm -hmm. it's like, are you really? <laughs> mm. You're fine, he said. He smiled. You're fine. Mm -hmm. You're very loving. I guess that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. He's smiling. That's why I need to. Okay. Is there anything that you need to know before going into the lifetime of Cindy? Any advice? It says not be you, just be you. Mm -hmm. So the lifetime that is being chosen for Cindy is just to live it? It's just to be a journey? Yes. Mm hmm. Nothing to do? It's just like she knows what to do. Mm -hmm. You praying? I mm -hmm. don't know. I so, guess that's why I connected when he said she knows what to do. Mm -hmm. So, is there anyone who's going to guide her? Yes, he said. Mm -hmm. Who's guiding her in her lifetime of Cindy? Angel Michael? Mm -hmm. All of the art. Say all of them. Mm -hmm. They're always with you. And you are with them. And soul, mind, and spirit. I'm like, amen. Mm -hmm. hmm. I don't know. His word gave me and <sighs> I think I felt something in my stomach and my body when he said that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and say it again and see what that is in that in their stomach. Feel it. And Feel it. that right here. Mm -hmm. and, and you are with them. Yeah, I felt that right in my stomach. Mm -hmm. right here. It feels good, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, like a they're in, they're in you. Mm -hmm. So is there anything that My she... My ego is so stubborn. It's like, are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like an uncut fight between. Mm -hmm. You could just ignore your ego. Okay. And let's just continue the conversation because there's information here that's very important. We need to find out what it is that Cindy will be needing to learn in this lifetime. Is there anything? that she needs to experience and learn. So I heard yes. Mm -hmm. What is it that she needs to learn? Soul, mind, and spirit. Mm -hmm. What does that mean for her? I mean everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that is. She tends to have issues with being disciplined. Does she need to learn anything about discipline? You said alignment? Mm-hmm. Alignment? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So does she need to get balanced? Yes. Mm-hmm. How can she get more balanced? I heard pray. Mm -hmm. When she prays in the lifetime of Cindy, who hears her prayers? Oh my God, he said everybody. Mm -hmm. 
He opened his arm. Everybody mm-hmm. smile. Mm-hmm. Be- because she wants to learn a lot of things now in her life. She will. Mm-hmm. She wants to learn how to meditate, for example, and connect. What's the best way for her to meditate so that she can hear what she needs to hear? All right. Peace and quiet. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I saw the beach. Uh-huh. Does she need to go to the beach more often? Yes. Mm-hmm. Is that her sanctuary? Always. Mm-hmm. And if it's winter and it's snowing, what can she do to create her own little beach? I guess I saw my space. Mm-hmm. Home. Mm-hmm. Does she need a beach room in her house? Yes. Mm-hmm. So with this meditation to help align her, yes. Mm -hmm. Right now she's working. She wants to be a healer. She wants to help other people. And it seems that as this princess, she already had a command of a lot of people. Will she be using that gift? of knowing to help other people. <laughs> he's laughing, says she's using it and she doesn't know it. Ah, how <laughs> is it that she uses it? By talking mm-hmm. to them. Mm-hmm. But she feels awkward because they tell her that when she talks, she doesn't sound professional. Ah, they get it. Mm-hmm. Does she need to worry about that? Not now. Mm-hmm. Anything else about that? I just saw my wife, my husband, and my little one. Mm-hmm. Like a quick picture of the two of them. Mm-hmm. Are they part of that soul group? Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, she's been interested in crystals lately, but she doesn't know how to work with them. She only holds them when she's praying. What's happening with those crystals? Energy? Mm Mm-hmm. How will she know what crystals to use? For what energy? Feel it. Mm Mm-hmm. Any particular one that she needs to work with at this time? Uh, I see the quartz. The quartz. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it rose quartz? The crystal one? The crystal quartz, okay. Yeah, crystal. Mm -hmm. So that is her stone right now that she needs to work with? That's what I see. Very good. In a picture. Very good. Now, she has had some goals that she would like to accomplish. But she doesn't even know what to think about. She is in it? She's in it already. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So this lifetime is basically for her jer- just her to experience the journey? Always. Always. Good. Well, in this journey, she needs a healthy body. And she's been feeling some unusual symptoms in her body. She's been hearing sounds in her ears, for example. I hear it right now. What is that? A stem? Mm hmm. I don't know. So, when she hears that ringing in her ears, what is she receiving from them? Information? Mm hmm. She also feels some heart palpitations. Same thing. Same thing. So, is this coming from the guides? <laughs> a lot of them. A lot of them. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Is that for Bea? Well, she doesn't know if she has to go to the doctor because she's been told that she has iron iron deficiency. Her blood doesn't circulate well. It will. Mm-hmm. What's going on in her body at this time that's causing all of these issues? Needs alignment? Alignment. So, 
in order for her to be aligned, what is the best practice? Chakra came to my mind. I don't know what. What is it? Is. Chakra. Chakra. Okay. I don't know what that is. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask the guides, Cindy's guides, to assist me in finding the chakras that are out of balance. The chakras are energy centers throughout the body, and they spin. And we're going to begin to go through the chakras, just as if we were doing a scan. And we're going to see if any of them are not moving the way they should. They should be moving similar to a fan in front of her body and on the back of her body. So we're going to now check for the first chakra on the bottom. It's like near the spine. And this is called the root chakra. I hear a problem. Problem. Mm. Now this chakra is red and it should be spinning. Let's find out what's happening with that chakra. What's blocking it? See if you see any blocks keeping it from spinning. See like two nuts right here? I two nuts? Two, mm -hmm. two like cartwheels? I don't mm -hmm. know, something. All right. Like so what I'd like for you to do is to begin to spin that energy center. Is it by the spine? Is it the bottom of the spine? Yeah. All right. So I'd like for you to begin to spin it like a fan in front of the body and behind the body. And let's spin that chakra as fast as we can. And as we do, you may notice things that are flinging off of it. And as you spin it, notice if there's any shifts in the body. Keep spinning. This chakra has to do with your trust So let's spin it and tell me how it feels now. Feels good. Very good. So now we're going to move up the body to the sacral chakra. I heard heart. Mm -hmm. All right, the heart is ha ha higher, but we're gonna okay. we're gonna go to the sacral chakra now. It's below the belly button, and it's an orange chakra. This has to do with your creativity. With sexuality. Hair stuck. All right. So what we're going to do is find out why it's stuck. We're going to get to the root of the problem of why it's stuck. I'm going to have you focus on that chakra and see what is there blocking it. What's the first thing that comes to mind? There go. Little dots. Little dots. Mm -hmm. it's like a shadow. Like a shadow. Very good. So keep... my belly button. Mm -hmm. So take a look and see if those dots are something that you created or something that's outside of you. What are those dots? Feeling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feelings. All right. So let's. I'd like for you to focus on that. And I'd like for you to come up with an emotion, a word, or a sentence that describes the stuck feeling in that area. Oh my God, it's a lot of them. Sad worries. Mm -hmm. uh, sad worry, depressed. Mm -hmm. So it seems that you're putting all of these emotions in that area. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go back in time, and we're going to find out why it is that you began putting... Since I came up. Ah, all right. So I'm going to count from five to one. When I get to number one, we will be at the time when you decided to put all of that there. Take a deep breath in now. Five. Travel through time and space to find the origin of being stuck there. Four. Go back even farther. 
three, getting younger and younger. Two, begin to see the images. And one, be there now. Are you indoors or outdoors in this memory? Indoor. Are you alone or with others? Um, I'm with my mom, I mm -hmm. think. How old are you there? Young, nine, ten. Nine, ten. What's happening right now? Just see her sad. Mm -hmm. Cooking, doing this, doing that. Mm -hmm. Like I just look to her and think far, very far. Mm-hmm. What did you do with her sadness? Because I can't like try to help her, but I can. Mm-hmm. So what did you do? I feel passionate about her, mm -hmm. sad. Like I feel bad, you know. Mm-hmm. Did you take her sadness from her? Yes. Where did you put that sadness? In my body. Mm-hmm. Very quiet. Mm -hmm. I looked her and I put my head down. Mm -hmm. Now we need to talk to your mom about that because you can't be carrying her sadness. I'm going to count from one to three. And when I get to number three, I'm going to talk to mom. Take a deep breath in. One, two, and three. Mom. Why are you sad today? Feel family. Mm -hmm. Nowhere end. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Look at your daughter. She's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Does she look happy or sad? She's always happy. Mm -hmm. Do you realize, Mom, that by being sad, you're affecting your daughter. Didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Cindy, tell your mom how you're feeling. Feel sad. Mm -hmm. For everything you have gone through. All by yourself. No help from my daughter. Mm -hmm. I heard, don't worry. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in. Be mom. Mom, is it fair for your daughter to carry all your sadness? Not at all. No. What would you like to tell her about that? Just be happy. Everything's fine. I'm fine now. Mm -hmm. And you guys are already big. Mm -hmm. families. All right. Take a deep breath in. Little Cindy, I want you to look inside of your body and see what you have done to your body. What have you stored all of the sadness? All over my breast, my stomach. Mm hmm. Does the sadness belong to you? No. No. Who does it belong to? Should not carry anything nowhere. Mm hmm. All right. So, what I'd like for you to do is do what you've always done. We're going to call in an Archangel Michael. And Archangel Michael is going to assist you today to go into your body, pierce that body, and begin to release all of that sadness with his blue flame sword. So feel that sword, it's almost like ice, going in and piercing your body and begin to remove all of that sadness. Tell me where he's piercing it. I'm my belly button. Mm -hmm. And now I'd like for you to allow all of that sadness, all of that frustration, all of those feelings to begin to release through your belly button. And tell me when it's all out. Very good. And now we're going to take a look at your heart and see what your heart looks like. What does that heart look like? It's 
is uh, healthy. Mm -hmm. What have you put in that heart? Pressure. Mm -hmm. Is it your pressure or does it belong to others? Everybody. Everybody's. What is it doing, all that pressure to your heart? Sickness. Mm -hmm. Do you need that? No. No. Are you ready to release all, all of, of that? that? All right. I'm going to put my hand over your heart. And I want you to go ahead and begin to release all of that pressure that doesn't belong to you. Because all of that pressure is just ideas that you've been fantasizing about that aren't even real. These are just things that you made up. Nothing is in there as needs to be in there. It doesn't belong to you. And tell me when I get it all out. Good. Very good. Let's take that and send it to the universe for healing. And now... That your heart is empty. What would you like to put in there instead? Happiness. Love. Let's put lots of happiness. Seal it in. And let's put lots of love. Have all that love flow through your body. Energizing all of those cells. Making them all so joyous to just be alive. And seal that in. And now... Can you forgive yourself for having held on to all of everybody's sadness, everybody's anxiousness, everybody's issues? Can you forgive yourself? Yes. All right. So give me all of that that you have inside that you've been carrying. Give that all to me. And let's release it. Let's release it and let it go. Now I'd like to ask for Archangel Raphael, the healer, to step forward. And I'd like for him to put his beautiful green healing light. Begin through this area here in her tummy and spread it out through the whole body. Healing it and sealing it with that beautiful energy, that green light. Like a beautiful ointment that seals and tell me when he's done. All done. Very good. So now I'd like for you to focus once again back into that orange chakra beneath the belly button. And let's give it a spin and see how it's looking now. It's clear. Very good. Very good. Now the next chakra that we have to look at is the one in your gut area. It's yellow. This one is the solar plexus, where you have your feeling of your intuition. This is where your wisdom is, where your power is. Take a look and see how that chakra is feeling. I heard gotta get bigger. Mm. All right, so I'd like for you to expand that chakra. Make it bigger and start spinning it. Spin it so that we can allow that wisdom and that power. Very good. And now let's look at the heart chakra. We've cleared out the heart today. Take a look and see that energy to see how that energy center in front of the heart and behind the heart is spinning. That's good. Good. So I'd like for you to expand that one even more. Because the larger that chakra is, the faster it spins, the more you'll be able to spread your love to all of those that are needing you. All of those who have been waiting for you. So open up that heart and connect with those that love you. Very good. Spin it fast and wide. And now let's go up to your throat. This is your throat chakra. See how that one is feeling. Problems? Mm -hmm. Let's find out what's there. Let's focus in on that and let's come up with a emotion, a sentence, a situation. Stuck? Mm -hmm. What is stuck there? 
Let's follow it back. I'm going to count from five back to one to the origin of that stuck feeling. Taking a deep breath in now, five. Going back through time and space to find the origin. Four. The origin of being stuck in your communication center. Three. Two and one. Be there now. This memory is it daytime or nighttime? Looks dark. Looks dark. Are you alone? Are there others with you there? I think about myself. Mm -hmm. Dark space. In space. Mm -hmm. uh, Tell me more. It's just dark. Do you have a body in this place? I don't think so. I just... <sighs> Nothing comes around me. Mm-hmm. I feel a dark what's, environment. What's surrounding you? Hmm. Something came in my mind. Walls? Walls. Very good. So let's keep going and seeing what walls are surrounding you. Like a tunnel? Mm-hmm. Keep going. Keep following the tunnel. It's dark. Tell me more. Do you have a body in this tunnel? I don't see my body. Mm -hmm. I just know I'm walking to All right. it. Let's keep walking and see what this tunnel leads you to. Where does it lead? Nowhere. Mm hmm. Connect with your emotions now and tell me what it feels like in that tunnel. Trap? Mm-hmm. Don't Let, know, moving. Let's find out how you got trapped in that tunnel. I'm going to tap your forehead, and as you do, you'll understand why you got trapped in that tunnel. Know it now. How did you get in that tunnel? Somebody brought me in. Mm-hmm. Are you male or female in I'm there? I'm a female. Mm-hmm. I oh. don't know why. Speak? Mm-hmm. Keep Speak going. Speak for religion? Mm-hmm. Were you speaking about religion? Open people's mind. Mm-hmm. Begin to see the scene. Before you were in that tunnel, what were you doing? It's like when I was a princess. Uh huh. I was given. Is this a different lifetime? Yeah, mm -hmm. I was one of them. Mm hmm. So what happened? I guess it's like with the long dress, back in the time, the old time. Mm hmm. I guess I was just. I was kind of like, don't, don't, don't. Like, don't allow them to direct you. You have your own voice. Mm -hmm. That's right. You have your own knowing. Believe on it. Stick to it. Okay. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to count from one to three, and you're going to go to the moment in time right before they put you into that place. You'll understand what happened. One, two, and three. See it now. They didn't want me to say anything. Mm -hmm. They want me to keep my mouth shut. Mm -hmm. Who are you to interfere? Mm -hmm. You are like one of them. We gave you the reason to think and to speak for others. We don't want you to talk. Mm -hmm. So now that we understand that in that lifetime, you were not allowed to speak, can you see that in this lifetime, yeah, make me feel me angry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the same thing that happened with me and my work. Mm -hmm. Do we need to be connected with that lifetime anymore? No. All right. So I'd like for you to imagine yourself seeing that lifetime as if it were a boat on a river. And I'd like for you to now push that boat away from the shore and allow that lifetime to just float away 
disconnecting from it. And focusing now on the throat, on the mouthpiece, bringing back the power from that princess and feeling the energy grow within your throat as you begin to spin that chakra and widening it, widening it out, make it wider and wider. Mm, connecting to my ears. Mm-hmm. And as it connects to your ears, how does that feel? Good. Very good. So make sure that that is spinning as fast as it can. And we're going to now go up into the third eye right here. And I want you to look at that chakra and feel in front of the forehead and behind how that one is spinning. This is the center of your spiritual awareness. This is the one that connects. This is more opening. Very good. So allow yourself to open that one even more. And spin it as fast as you can. Very good. And now we're going to go up to the crown of your head. Above your head. Look at that chakra. Got to open. Mm -hmm. Very good. Spin it and widen it out. This is the center of your spirituality. And as now you scan your entire body, look at all of your energy centers and see how they're looking now. I heard good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. So look at her health and see how opening up these energy centers has affected her. Will be better. It will be better. Very good. Very good. Now she had some questions about her future. <laughs> what would you like to tell her about that? It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. It's like you said, think about the now. Mm -hmm. Future the will come. Good. Now she's had many dreams. Very, very uh, vivid dreams. She dreams about the Virgin Mary. Giving she's her, with her. She's with her. Always. Does the Virgin Mary have any message for her today? I hear all your prayers. Mm -hmm. Good. And she also says that she dreams about an ocean. Something very big. That's her, that's her life. Mm -hmm. Can you tell her what that means? What does the ocean mean? Protection. Mm -hmm. Notification. So these waves. Advice. That, these waves of some tsunamis that she sees coming towards her in her dreams. What is big this? things? Big things. Mm -hmm. Big. 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 Something big. Big changes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there anything to fear? No. Mm -hmm. And she also tells me that she saw a beautiful field. Home? Mm -hmm. Is this where her home is? Mm -hmm. Why is it that she saw people in that, in that place where they were alive and some had already passed? It's like we all come from the same creator. Mm -hmm. We are alive all of us all of us and she wants to be able to help everyone she always need. does so there's nothing else for her to do she just needs to be herself exactly mm -hmm. one of the experiences that mystified her was four orange red lights in the sky all flying at the same distance does her par of us mm-hmm can you tell me more about that? S there's surround her, mm -hmm. around there, mm -hmm. or surround you. I don't know. Why did she see them? It was time. Mm. So what does she need to know about who you are? That we all exist. Mm -hmm. we, the big galaxy, we all exist. We all exist. Very good. And she's curious about s something that cracked her neck while she was folding clothes one day. 
What was that? That could. Not good. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Is that what cracked her neck still with her? Yes. All right. Where is it right now? Behind. Behind. My neck. Mm -hmm. Would the light allow me to speak with this? Yeah. All yes. right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands, and with my energy, I'm going to bring <coughs> in that energy. Up, 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 and allow to give this energy a voice. Good morning. You and the neck. Why are you there? I don't know. Do you know this woman? Yes. How do you know her? My wife? She's your wife. From what lifetime? Long time. A long time. So tell me why it is that you're with her now. I want to. Do you realize that you don't have a body? How can you want your wife if she's living in a different lifetime as you? Are you confused? No. Tell me how it is that you came upon her. What allowed you to connect with her? Open. She was open. Can you tell me your name, please? What name do you go by? Sahar. Sahar. Sahar, so tell me, when was it that she was your wife? Many years ago. Mm -hmm. What year is that? What year is it for you? 2006 or 20006? 20006. Was she on a different planet, Sahar, or was she here on Earth? Different planet. Okay. So, Sahar, what happened between you and her in that lifetime? We broke up. We broke up. Was she married then to you? Yes. Mm hmm So why is it that you're still connected to her? I feel like it. You feel like it. Sahar, how is it that your body died in that lifetime? An accident. What kind of accident? Fight. A fight. What part of your body was injured? My stomach. Your stomach. So, Sahar, you see, every time a body dies, it goes back to the light, back to the light of God. I know. Why didn't you go home? Didn't feel like it. Mm. Do you understand, Sahar, that by not going back, you're missing out on a lot of love? Yeah. Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. You're looking for her love? Mm -hmm. mm. Would you like to feel that love now, Sahar? Yeah. All right. So I'd like for you to look inside of your heart, Sahar. There's a little light there. I see it. This is the light of God. And I'd like for you to expand that light and feel it. Feel the love. Feel good. Now make it even bigger. Make it so big and powerful, it takes over your entire essence. Tell me how that feels. Feels good. Mm -hmm. Is this the love you were looking for? Better. It's better than the love, mm -hmm. of course it is. So how long has it been that you've been with, with Cindy? A while. A while. What have you been doing to her? How does she feel you in her body? I don't want to do anything. Just mm -hmm. one. So you make her lazy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What else do you do? Make her look down a lot. Mm -hmm. Make it sad, I guess. It's sad. So this, it seems like... She's how... not bright. Mm. So it seems to me that this is how you felt, Zahar. Yeah. How do you feel now? Good. Good. So would you like for Cindy to forgive you for oh, yeah. doing this? Go yeah. ahead and tell her that. Forgive me. All right, take a deep breath in. Cindy, do you forgive Sahar? Yeah. For not knowing any better. 
I know I should go so I can feel better. Mm -hmm. Good. So, Sahar, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and begin cutting away all of your essence from her body. And, Cindy, you do the same. And I'm going to call in Archangel Michael. He's going to escort you back home. Are you ready to go back now? Yeah. Pull all of your energy out of her body. I'd like for you to go up to the top of her head right here. And Archangel Michael is right there waiting yeah. for you. What does he say to you? Give me his hands. Mm-hmm. So go ahead and join him. He's going to take you back home to the light and tell me when you get there. I'm there. All right. Who's there to welcome you? See people. Mm-hmm. Happy people. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you, Sahar. Thank you. And now... Let's take a look at that neck, and I'd like Archangel Raphael to put in his beautiful green healing light. Beginning at that point in the neck, and let's go all the way down into the stomach and fill the body with that energy. Sealing it and healing it. Tell me how that feels. Good. Good. Let's take a look and see if there are any others, any other shadows. Any other movements? Anything else in this body? The heart. The heart. Let's take a look at the heart and see what's there. Is this something that's attached to Cindy or is something she created? I think it's an attachment. All right. So I'm going to put my hand over the heart and I'm going to bring that energy up, 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 and you can express yourself now. Good morning. Okay. Are you male or female? Male. Yeah. Male. What is your name, please? Harry. Harry. How old are you? Two. Two. Harry, how long have you been there with her? Fifteen years. Fifteen. What happened, Harry, that allowed you to connect with Cindy? <laughs> She's like me, a child. Mm-hmm. Happy. She was happy. Mm -hmm. So, what happened to your body, Harry? I passed. Mm-hmm. And why is it, Harry, that you didn't go back home to God? I want to feel a mother like her. Mm -hmm. What happened to your mother? She didn't like me. She didn't like you. Did Cindy like you? Oh my gosh, she loved all the kids. Mm -hmm. But you see, Harry, this is not how you live. You can't attach to another person. You've kind of invaded her free will. I'm sorry. What have you been doing to Cindy all this time? She needs to be more open. Mm-hmm. And I have closed her. You closed her heart? Mm -hmm. mm-hmm. Would you like to open your heart now? Yeah. All right, so look for that little light within you. Harry, you'll see it. Yes. Yeah, open up this light and allow God's love to fill that space. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go now? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would you like to tell Cindy? I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'd like to be with you. Mm -hmm. Take a deep breath in, Cindy. Do you forgive Harry for not knowing any better? I do. He was looking for love. Good. So, send him off with love. Archangel Michael will put him in his arms and take mm. him straight home. He's carrying me. Mm, very good. Tell me when you're there, Harry. Oh, God. Who's there? Who welcomed you? It's like a grandma. Mm -hmm. Very good. Give her a big hug, Harry. May the light of the universe accompany you, too. Thank you. Thank you. And now, let's put in that beautiful green light, Archangel Raphael. Fill her heart. Seal it. And let's move through the rest of the body and see if there's anything else that we need to take care of there. She's good. She's good. Very good. Now, Cindy came with a lot of questions today. And I wanted to know if there's anything that I didn't ask that you would like to tell her at this time. She bright like a star. Mm -hmm. She's as bright as a star. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. The moon and the star are all connected mm -hmm. with her. Does she need to know anything moving forward now in her life? Just enjoy life. Mm -hmm. Your connection will be clear now. Very good. Very good. 
Is there any other messages that you would like to give through her? To any family member? To her? Anything else? She is the connection she of is. everybody. She is the glue? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Very good. And when she wonders if it's her ego talking, what would you like to tell her? Oh, she, a better way for her to know it now okay. when it's not her ego. So now she'll know the difference, yes. whether it's her ego or the divine self. Better speaking. connection good. and spirit. Very good. Is there anything else or are we complete today? She's perfect. Perfect. It's complete. Very good. Thank you so much. Completely alert, feeling wonderful. Oh, All of it. I feel spinning. Mm. Was this real? <laughs> I create all this. Mm. Let me give you some Shanghai to ground you now. We need to get back to Earth. Oh my God. How do you feel? I feel good. Mm. Well, if you were making it all up, why'd you make that up? That, that's what I couldn't do with it. It's like I'm making all this up. Mm. My ego is like, no, you're making all this up. Oh, that's how the ego talks. Oh my God, really? So the question is, why would you make that up? Mm. Exactly. Yeah. So how do you feel? How's your body feel now that your chakras are my, spinning? My head's spinning. Mm -hmm. I feel light. I feel, I feel like a feather. My God, you're you're amazing. You're an angel. More than an angel, you're like, oh my God. How did it feel to you? Unreal. I'm still questioning my ego. Do you feel still. you were hypnotized? Not at all. I think I was making things up. <laughs> I told you that's how it's going to feel. Oh, right? wow. Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's going to take For me a while. For someone who makes things up, that was pretty well the imagination you had. I guess, right? You did great. I did great. How long do you think that this journey was? How did it feel to you? It comes to my mind 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. You're on an hour and a half right now. What? No! That woke me up. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my God! No. Pretty wild. Is this something you want to share? Uh, did I say anything good for people? I no, don't I know. It was an interesting journey. Yeah. You're a princess. You were in space. Yeah. You know what? Not my beach. mom always said that. She said that when I was little, mm -hmm. She had, the Indian came and took me, and she had this dream that they put me in this section with a lot of gold. Mm. And she always like, be careful where is water, you know, back then, mm -hmm. in the mountains. I don't, I don't like that because you, they have not telling me that you've been taken and bring it back. Mm. I'm like, really? And I have a little cousin because Cindy, every time I see you, I see you like, my black little princess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's crazy. A princess. <laughs> so do you see that, that um, the water is very important to you? It is. Mm -hmm. Very. Mm -hmm. And Virgin Mary. You had a lot of stuff there. So that we all connect. We're all connected. And you're yeah. always connected. And you sat in there with your guides oh. talking about your life. But And they basically said, you're just here to have, to experience life. You're just here to... I am still like, if was that true, I, <laughs> well, I created it because it's so unreal, right? That's how it feels. That's how it feels. Because you're imag this is all coming from the part of your mind. Yeah. That's where you create imagination. And the yeah. ego is always analyzing, saying, no, that's fantasy. No, and, and with that little child mm -hmm. in my heart, yeah. because mm -hmm. she gives love, you want to stay with yeah. my heart. Interesting, huh? Like, I would never picture that. <laughs> I mean, I always think I'm a child in me, and I'm always jumping and yeah. this and that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my God, you are awesome. You did fantastic. fantastic. That's awesome. You are amazing. So tell I'm everybody, person. tell everybody how you feel. She's the best. The best. You would not even think that what you're saying is the real deal. You did it all. It's so, like if you're making things up, yeah, because you, you, you it's fantastic. 
I know I feel like a feather. <laughs> you did. It's it's awesome. not me. Oh my god. You, you did it all. Greatest. You did it all. She you said is it all. Awesome. She is amazing. So for someone who works with numbers all the time, mm -hmm. analyzing numbers and everything else, a lot of people say that you can't do hypnosis. How did you feel? Do you feel that you had a good session? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the real deal. I mean, I've never been, but you've never I been felt hypnotized. Now I, but I felt like it was mm -hmm. not even a dream. I thought I was talking to you. Well, exactly saying. because in hypnosis, you're conscious, you're mm -hmm. alert, you know what's going on. I told you your ego was going to be involved. Oh, big time. He was driving me bananas. Yeah. <laughs> but you were seeing one thing and the ego was, was talking right. to you, but it was still going on. It's not like yeah. it stopped. I was getting automatic answer. Right. I was not seeing much. It doesn't matter. But I was, I was and hearing. And this is, this is proof that everybody's different, mm -hmm. that everybody, uh, some people see, some people know, and you were just getting words. Mm -hmm. This is the answer. Yeah. And that's how it works. Right. Everybody's different. So if you're not getting the experience that you're seeing from other clients, it's because that's the way you get it. Mm -hmm. So when you use your intuition, you're getting it. Now, we did a lot of work on your chakras. Yes. How did that feel when we were? It, it, it was amazing. After you finish yeah. everything, I feel my body differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is an exercise that you could be doing yourself mm -hmm. when you do a meditation. You okay. don't even have to be lying down or anything, even if, even if you're at work. Mm -hmm. You can focus on your chakras and just keep keep them spinning. Mm -hmm. Fling everything off that's stuck to them. Okay. Okay? Okay. So do you recommend this to other people? A thousand percent. Not just a hundred. She's and, the best. And where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. So she... Flew all the way yeah. down here to see me. I, I needed to see her. It took me two years, and finally I got here. And so what do you tell people? Oh, you have to do it. It's it's an amazing experience, so you have to do it. Yeah, so, yeah. It, you know. For your own good, you know, your body, your spirit. When you're different. meant to be here, you will be here. And like Cindy said, she took her over two years. Yeah, two years. But she's basically. here, and, and this is what When she, is the right time for you, that's when it will Exactly. Be. Do you think that two years ago, it would have been a lot, lot different where mm, your life is? No. No, this is this is the now. Yeah. This is the perfect time. This is when time. you had to be. Yeah. So if you would like a session with me, just go to my website, albawyman.com. Go to my, um, right now, let's see, where am I? Hypnosis tab, because we've been changing things around. Mm -hmm. And there you will see, uh, sign up for the newsletter. Sign up for that newsletter. It comes out about once a month. It'll tell you where I'm going to be, whether I'm here in Miami, my home uh, town, or traveling. And then... Uh, whoever clicks on that link first to that calendar will get the session. So I hope I get to meet you sometime soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a very beautiful session. Thank you. And um, good luck, see guys. See you soon. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>